I want to welcome you back to Black Side tonight. We're going to talk about Tariq Nasheed's new project, Hidden History Museum in Los Angeles. And the big question, is it legit or is it a scam? First, I would like for you to subscribe to this channel. Hit that like button, hit that notification button, but also comment on this video. And if you'd like to make a donation, go to BlackSite7 on Cash App or hit the PayPal button in the description box. Tariq Nasheed has a new project that he wants the black community to get involved with. It's the Hidden History Museum. You see the picture right there. And he's raising funds on Indigo. He's trying to raise a million dollars to get the land, the property in Los Angeles. And so far from what I have seen, he's got about $400,000. Tariq Nashi, you may know as the man who does Hidden Colors. You've seen the series, very good series, well done. And Tariq Nasheed is branching out to having a museum to where he said that they can have premieres of movies inside the museum. He says the museum will cost about $7 million, but first he wants to acquire the land, which is the right thing to do. You have plenty of people out there saying that this is not legit. This is a scam by Tariq Nasheed to get money. But what I have seen out of Tariq Nasheed so far, whatever he has said, he has done. You may not like his past, the way he came up in the game. You may not like that he had Mac lessons and all this other stuff on the side. But so far, his word has been a bond. He said he was going to produce these movies, put them out. He has done it. I have heard no one say that Tariq Nasheed has ever scammed him. He has always given you a good product. And when somebody does that, you have to take them at their word. If you go to Indigo right now, you see plenty of groups putting money together for their projects. And these groups do it every day. If it's not the Asian, the Jewish community, the Muslim community. So this is nothing different. And I believe that Tariq Nasheed will build this museum. Some people are comparing him to Brother Umar Johnson in his school, in which this brother raised, I guess, 750000 And we still haven't gotten to school after about 10 years. And we have had plenty of other people start charter schools and other schools within that period of time. But Tariq is a man who goes around the country and investigates and does his work and does a good job. He seems to have a good reputation with a lot of scholars, a lot of activists within the community. His word seems to be good. I know some people may not like the way he talks or carries himself and how he basic, basically will cancel you with his mouth. But Tariq Nasheed is a different person. Sometimes we can't pick the person, the right perfect person to come and help us get to where we need to be going. But Tariq Nasheed so far, from what I have seen, is doing a good job. I know so many of you will disagree and you can say that within the comment section, which is fine. But I can only go by the record that I have seen. He has not stolen from this community. You have had people expose him and say they don't like what he's doing. But that happens in the black community every day. Nobody is perfect. You know, I look at white history and the people that they put in their history books. And I'm not saying Tariq Nasheed is one of those. None of those individuals are perfect. All the way from George Washington to anyone you can think of. But they're considered historical figures for what they have done. Even though they have blemishes on their record. So we should give Tariq Nasheed 
a chance. You know, other people will say we gave Umar a chance. We gave Brother Polite a chance. We gave all these other pro-blacks a chance. And if Tariq Nasheed fails and he doesn't deliver, the community has the opportunity to cancel him. They have the opportunity to get after him like so many other people have done. But we can't dismiss everybody who comes to our community with a plan. What if the next huge plan happens to be in social media, happens to be a great business venture, and we turn that individual down? Because we think something nefarious is always going on, that people don't keep their word. This is big for Tariq, because if he doesn't keep his word, it's out there in the open for everybody to see. And Tariq has plenty of naysayers on YouTube and outside of YouTube in the mainstream media. So I believe that Tariq will try and get this job done. And he's going through the right process by first telling you, I need the land. The picture that he's shown in the video that the land had already been demolished because land costs a lot in Los Angeles. And if he can get it for a million dollars, he will need six million dollars to build a museum. So what he's basically doing right now is going through a step-by-step -step process to get the land first, show the people I have this land. Secondly, you can concentrate on the architecture, this is the building, then you can have it built with the money that you're able to raise to build the museum. And that's the way it should be done in our community. Seven million dollars should not be a lot. It's 40 some million people in this country. 43, 45, 48, 50, you know how they undercount in the census. If we all gave three, four, five dollars, this building could be easily built. But this could be the way to show the black community if we come together and we put our money together, we can build anything that we want in this country. We once did it in Black Wall Street. We once did it in Raleigh, Durham, and so many other places where we had no choice because of segregation. And sometimes I feel we should get that back in our mind that these things, they can be done within our community. So give the brother a shot. If it doesn't work out and he does not refund the money, then we have a problem. But so far, he has done what he said he was going to do, and we should try and support this brother. I want to thank you for listening to Black Sight. I hope you subscribe to this channel. Smash that like button, but also share this video.